hi hello my name is yd and welcome to my channel if today is your first time on my channel i am so happy to have you on board today's today's tutorial is all about automatic headings numbering or some people might call it multi-level listing as you may be at no, as it, as it applies to you or as you want to call it so today is automatic heading numbering that is what I prefer to call it um, so why do you want why must you um, number will your work automatically it might, if you do it because if you do it manually you're going to have series of mistakes you're going to have mistakes not a lot of mistakes <laughs> you're going to have lots of mistakes and you might not be able to navigate through it properly. What do I mean by navigate? So on my left hand side, I have my navigation pan. So when I click on my background of study, it takes me there. When I click on my literature review, it takes me there. When I click on my cybersecurity strategies, it takes me there. So that is what I mean. So you don't have to scroll through the entire page looking for a particular heading. So when your work is done automatically, it just um it's it just makes your life easier and in, um, and it makes it easy for you to navigate through your work it makes anybody who has your work you know it makes them just go to the topic that they want to read about and all that so let me show you how i did this let me show you how to make your life a lot easier <laughs> remember if today is your first time on my page please remember to subscribe like and share and i'm so happy to have you on board so this is um this is actually the same template the same project work but um this one wasn't actually this one wasn't numbered so number one rule of automatic numbering is before you do your numbering you have to format your work you can do this num this you can do your numbering at the beginning of writing your projects in between or at the end whichever one so i'm going to show you how to you know format it when you're just starting like this work is partially completed ready to be you know submitted to your supervisor to edit and all that so this work is partially completed so i'm going to show you how this work was actually numbered automatically so before i numbered it i formatted it like my introduction i made it heading one so you go to style and make your um you format to work heading one heading two and all that so i make my introduction heading one my by anything on that introduction like my background of study my problem statements were, were all heading two so if i had anything on the background of study for instance it's going to be heading three i hope you understand you are going to be having heading three when you're in like methodology project um, product design and all that so you're going to have in three heading four and stuff like that remember you have to go to the style to do your formatting so you're heading one you're heading two i hope i hope you understand <laughs> so let me show you how to automatic automatically number your work so you go to your home the famous your famous home you go to your home now in the home you go to paragraph so the paragraph you see multi-level list so you click on the drop down and you you come down you're going to say define new multi-level list you click on it so this pops up let me put it in the middle so this pops up so what are you going to do so let's start our formatting so on the level one so click level one to modify so you highlight your level one and the first thing you're going to do is number style for this level so what's the number style for this level i want to start it one two three not abc so i click on the drop down then i pick my one two three because it automatically changes then i want it to align with my page you can see it's far far away so i move this i take this out and i leave it at zero so that's it then i want to align remember our style is heading one so i need to align my level one to my style so link level to style so this is my level one so i'm going to link it to heading one i hope i make sense 
yes i do <laughs> so i pick my head in one so we are done with level one we move to level two which is like your background of study your problem statement and all that so your number style for this level it's going to be one to three i like mine as one to three that is the standard <laughs> so let me i'm going to remove this and why did i remove that because we're going to have 1.1 remember so include level number from one so my level numbering is going to start from level one so i pick level one so i'm going to have one point then my background of study for instance it's going to be 1.1 so my style for this level it's going to be one two three then the next thing you're going to do is link level to style so i'm going to link level two to heading two so i scroll down to heading two and as you can see my alignment is on zero because i want i always like it to align on the page you know everything to align on the page if you want to change your sign you can change it to 0 0.5 for instance you can see it has moved but i always like mine to be on zero so i leave it on zero and every other thing you can leave it as it is so i have level three so my level three i want my number style on one two three please remove this so you're going to include include level number from you start from level one so it's going to be like so if you had um for example you have um uh, aims under your background of study so it's going to start from introduction one point background of study 1.1 aims 1.1.1 so i hope you understand what i mean by that so this is level one i pick my level one one dot i move again level two it brings up the one I put my dots as you can see number style for this level i pick one two three so it picks my number style for this level is one two three so i put dots sorry that didn't pick so i put dots so the next thing is to link level to style so i'm going to link level three to heading three can see so my alignment is on is at um, 2 cm and I always like my alignment everything should be just like aligned with the page so I'm going to leave this at zero so you can decide to align yours the way you want it it all depends on you so I am done with my automatic numbering so let's see how it looks like click on ok then this is what it says so you can see it has automatically numbered my work have you seen the error yeah so let's bring out our navigation pan and see how to um with your navigation pan it's easy for you to see the little little errors so for you to get your navigation pan you go to view on your view you go to show on show you click on you tick navigation pan and automatically it comes up so you can see on the one point two there is nothing here. All you have to do is just click on it and it takes you to one point two. There's nothing there. So we just remove it. As you can see, you don't have to manually come and type. Imagine if you were doing this manually. So after removing the one point two, you come down, you remove the three there, you put the two, you start doing it until you get to the end. No, this automatically changes once you remove anything, it automatically changes changes everything. So let's say this is you want to do it at the beginning of you know your work. So you want to start typing your project. So this is what you're going to do. So let's say my aim is here, for instance. So let me take this back to home. So let's say my aim is here. All I have to do is highlight my aim and say this is level three. Can you see? It just automatically does it for me. One point one point one. Or I said, okay, I don't want my aim to be level three. I want my aim to be level two. Have you seen what I'm saying? So you don't have to do it manually. Once your work is formatted, is done, you, you've started numbering your work to automatically before you start your work. All you have to do is highlight, pick the heading. You can see I pick my heading. Automatically, it changes. So you can see it changes. 
I pick my heading so it changes. I don't have to manually type anything. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Hope um hope um hope you understand what I just explained. And if you don't, please send me an email or you can put in the comment section your questions and I will try to reply. I will definitely reply you. Please remember to subscribe, like and share and if you're new to my channel i'm so happy to have your board once again thank you bye